Hello and welcome back to the Mare Istra, a cursed ship boarded with all kind of horrifying monsters. Alright, so we are continuing our playthrough, but before I do that, I have to revert some uh, mistakes I have done. Uh, I noticed by watching the third part of the video that when there was a melodiction icon that needed to be resolved, I only resolved its effects on three crew members and I have five of them. So knowing that I would spend my luck uh, to stop the melodiction from flipping, this guy here shouldn't have any luck, so I'm gonna delete that, and Mate here should be down by two luck. So that's the first mistake. The second mistake is, uh, for some reason, I place uh, a, a bullet die, I mean die that I was going to use to track bullets on the Jimmy's guitar and then removed it afterward. So he actually has six bullets here. But the most important mistake came in when I was writing a rule book today and noticed that in my original uh, text for the, for the rules there is one thing <laughs> which basically made me play my own game wrongly. So what is that rule? That's a rule about noise. So how the noise actually should work? I had in plan to have a dynamic noise and totally forgot about it and used it like you just reveal the noise token. No, it does. that's not how it works. Once the, you roll on the omen and track uh, places on this little icon with an eye, uh, instead of revealing noise you roll a d6 and then on 1, 2 and 3 you reveal the noise but if you roll a 5, 4 or 6 the noise moves 3 spaces toward the nearest players with the lowest number so that's how noise dy dynamically moves through the ship and you never know where the monster is going to be revealed and you actually have to watch out because something is roaming the ship so I was playing that wrongly from the start but as we continue with this playthrough, I'm gonna fix that because I, that's how I'm gonna play it from now on. Alright, so what's the situation? Situation is, uh, Boyan here is under catatonic stupor, Mate is with him, not knowing what to do while all the monsters are trying to break these obstacles and kill them. In the meantime, we have guys here in the generator room watching the generator and does it can, can it keep up to pump? Uh, the water that is filling the ship, that's our second crisis. Uh, we go to the turn number 19 and I place this little token to track how many turns we have to be in generator room. So let's roll for the omen and let's continue. Alright, we have two, one, two, so this icon means, this one here, that we need to spawn one encounter token on the board, on the random regular room. So you we use our dice, that's 35, and you spawn them if you have them in the supply. So 35 is actually here, but you can actually, you can see that there is already token do there, and we can't have two of the same, so that's not gonna happen. So uneventful uh, event, basically. All right, now we activate monsters going from the most, the, those that has the highest in range and lowest number, so those are the hybrids and starting with this hybrid here let's see what he's gonna do it's a six he wants to throw a trident here if there is a player here but there isn't so he's gonna skip that uh, then the next hybrid that's gonna activate is this one here uh, that's a movement so he's gonna move his three spaces one two three uh, well, he moves to the nearest crew member uh, with the lowest number, so he's here. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, that's more, but one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, that's gonna be Vigo. He's now the nearest with the lowest number because there is no no one else there. So that's how you re revolve. Resolve one, two, three. Uh, then we have the hybrid number three here in front of the door. Uh, Alright, so he's gonna use his little... Uh, he's gonna throw his trident. So another thing in the rule book that I notice is if they are standing in front of the obstacle and they are actually attack with something, with a weapon, 
then we're gonna attack the obstacles so using this roll which should be six plus let's see will he actually use the trident to break that obstacle yes he will break the obstacle with the trident <laughs> bam and but he will stop there he doesn't do nothing after the breaking obstacle wow then we have this hybrid here he wants to move so he's gonna hit the obstacle and he breaks the obstacle they are breaking in and now the hole is gonna activate and they have a free reign to enter the room and do whatever they want so the holder number one now oh, poor boy and mate holder number one is gonna move to the nearest crew member with the lowest number and lunges onto that character's face he needs five plus to lunge and if the roll is successful that crew member is knocked out and receives one malediction card all right who is the lowest in this case that's me catatonic <laughs> boy and kid so this will move inside and it's tried to lunge on my face well i'm not moving so i can't do nothing about it uh it doesn't succeed though so uh it misses me somehow so i'm not knocked out all right then this holder also gonna move he's gonna no he's gonna release a piercing scream and he, that's gonna move all other monsters on the same deck two room spaces to the nearest crew member with the lowest number wow that will move all the monsters uh including other that are already activated like this holder uh but he's already there so this will be one two one one two and suddenly as you can see this will be very, very interesting happening here in this <laughs> radio room oh my oh my why why they break in why they gonna kill all them and i don't think we can can do nothing about it all right so now the players activate let's flip them all i do not activate yet because <laughs> catatonic stupor all right so let's think here what Mate can do he has two action and he has a flare he has a signal flare action like the flare all enemies in your room will run these six room spaces in the direction of your choice if they move more than five room spaces remove them from the board all right and then in the end of turn this card this item flare has burned out he also has a small knife so I actually have a plan but that's gonna involve leaving poor boy on here because Mate just can't deal with this situation right now so we're gonna activate him first so he's gonna light the flare I'm gonna tap it like this so I know it's lighted uh, alright so let's see all the enemies D6 spaces in the direction so he lights the flare bring it to the air and the light shines in, the, in this radio room and all enemies actually run out that's five move more than five so they're gonna move six spaces so these hybrids scares and this holder they all move and they are out of the out to the board they are removed oh my god that was that was such a cinematic move they screech and run away and but there is another hybrid there but Mate no know that he can't help Boyan so he says sorry boy but I have to watch for myself and he used his sturdy boots and run, uh, runs away actually no 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 he puts an obstacle <laughs> he bars the door he bars the door in front of this hybrid with the hopes they are gonna hold them and says boy don't worry everything will be fine all right so I'm gonna discard the flare I mean I can do it right away because it's, it's burned out and he still have one more flare <laughs> okay so that worked out perfectly what a what a turn in the meantime Vigo can hear this hybrid coming into the stairs and he's thinking should I go and there and he can hear these guys from a generator we go do something they are killing them up there so Vigo's gonna say yes I will try gentlemen and he rolls for his run he actually runs uh, he runs uh, seven spaces so he goes one two three four five enters in here 
Now, normally, if I would want to continue running past the monster, I have to pass a save roll, but I'm gonna stop here, so I don't have to pass any save rolls, because I'm gonna engage the monster, and I'm gonna fight it. Uh, although, if I want to, I can just continue running past... Ah, uh, do I want to do that? How many bullets he has? Only two. Okay, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can go up to here if I pass the save roll. But if I fail the save roll, the monster is going to have a one free attack on me. It's going to try to, to hit me. Okay, I'm going to risk it. I need four, four or more. Because if I run past it, I can continue running and help these guys here and leave the hybrid from the rest. Come on. Four plus. Yes, he passed. So I'm here. And then I run again. He runs trying to... He pass. He runs past this... He, he runs past this hybrid and hybrid... What? Human? What? He's kind of confused. Didn't manage to grab him. And then... <laughs> and then Vigo runs forward. And runs again seven. Wow. He Just when he... He's the most needed. He now does his best. So one, two, three... Four. Oh, wait a minute. But that's gonna activate this. Do I wanna do that? No, he's actually gonna step here on the staircase. And then we're gonna think it out what to do next. Okay. Because I just noticed there is a noise here. The moment you enter the, sp the open space and it's adjacent to your open space, you see each other. You see the creatures and then you have to flip this noise and we get more monsters. And that's right now that's a not good thing to do <sighs> I need to think through I need other other guys here but someone needs to stay here okay let's see the Marco is gonna stay he doesn't have any items so that's kind of problematic because if something happens in that generator room he will not be able to react as you can see there is a spawn point there uh, so I will skip his turn he needs to stay there but Jimmy can actually go. He's also gonna run. And Jimmy runs upstairs. Okay, I see another six. So he's gonna run eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's here. And again, he's close to the monster. I can try to run past the monster. Okay, let me think this through. This is another risky maneuver I have to do. Uh, because I can't attack it from here. If I had a rifle, it, it would be possible. But I have a revolver, which can be only used in the same room. So I guess... I guess I want to run past this monster, but I really need a good roll. Okay, I'm running. Do I want to use a luck to roll two dice? No, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that for the save roll. So I'm running again. That's a five. So one, two, three, four, five. So I should be here, but let's check where I pass the save roll. <sighs> Damn, I'm gonna use my last luck for that. I'm gonna use the last luck, so I, I'm gonna roll two dice. I need to pass that save roll. Okay, I pass. I'm gonna use a four. Good that I use the luck. And I'm I actually I'm here, and that's the end of the turn. All right. So what an interesting turn. And Matt also finished his turn. Now, at the end of turn, can I? Will I be able to get to my senses from this catatonic stupor? I need. F I need five or more. No, I can't. I just can't. I'm st still just staring in the wall, completely mind gone, shell of a man. All right. So we go to turn number. 20 so this turn we need to be in generator and the second crisis will be over let's roll on the omen truck that's a three one two three okay so noise needs to be revealed but let's play it correctly as is my in my original role so we roll a dice and on a six it's gonna move three spaces toward the nearest player with the lowest number so we check uh, one two three this is the nearest player and one two three four yeah that's the nearest player it doesn't really matter if this is the lowest number right now if there are two people it will go to him but 
he's the lowest number so this goes one two and then it reveals oh boy this will be bad let's see what it is an eight two hybrids and a hauler so this one this one and a hauler and they enter the staircase with the poor Vigo and Jimmy that tried to run there and save us all right so now the monster is gonna activate okay this will be interesting so who's the this is the lowest number with the highest enrichment so that hybrid sees Vigo and does one hybrid is mad he moves to the nearest crew member with the highest number well that's Vigo and attacks him using a trident weapon to hit 4 plus there are no save roll against this weapon attack okay well we uh, he doesn't have any save, save rolls anyway there are some items that can give you save roll so 4 plus use a trident stabs him Vigo falls knocked down with the wound damn uh, then this hybrid is gonna activate he wants to throw the trident so yeah he's gonna attack the obstacle but he needs a six no the trident just hits the obstacle and falls to the floor uh, this hybrid here a five for a second monster is confused not sure what to do so I can move him two spaces uh, I'm actually gonna move him I'm gonna move him up one and two I'm gonna move it here it's confused it's thinking we kill that human let's go for these ones all right and then the holder is gonna activate with the number one monster rele releases a piercing scream move all the other monsters to the highest crew member okay so everybody's gonna move two except that holder so right now he's the closest with the highest he's gonna go one two right in front of Jimmy uh, then this holder is gonna go one two he's not going through the obstacle so he will not attack it this will go also one two or actually where the wait, wait to the to the highest number okay let's see he's the, here one two three four one two three four five so he's he's gonna go up this way two spaces and then this hybrid here oh wait uh, yeah he wants to enter so he's gonna attack the obstacle that's a four yeah he's gonna destroy the obstacle bash obstacle gone again and now we're in trouble again and then we activate so I'm not gonna activate myself yet because I, I can't do much here okay problems big problems I think we're gonna go with Mate this time Mate has another flare so he boldly steps in between the monsters you goddamn aquatic nightmares take this F lights another flare now let's see how much it's gonna scare them they're gonna run these six and if they run more than five I can actually remove them from the board Morse's creatures but run only three spaces okay I can move them where I want so let's push them this way so one two three this monster's creatures runs one two three one two and three and what do I want to do then god damn it I know what I want to do but it's gonna be so it's gonna be so cruel Mata looks at Boyan one more time and says sorry my boy but there is no helping you it takes a big table puts it on the door <laughs> and that's his turn oh it will be interesting if I just in that time <laughs> come to my senses but it's gonna happen in the end of my turn so I can't do any actions or oh, even if I roll I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of dead I'm, I'm definitely dead here Mata had to make a choice 
and it was maybe a right choice. <laughs> okay, let's shuffle this flare, flare burns out. Alright, here I have some things I can do. Uh, let me think so we are we are in the same room so and Jimmy has a revolver so he can shoot all the all those creatures even if they are like spaces away because you can shoot everything inside your room so Jimmy brings the, his revolver and start aiming carefully first at the hybrid he shoots one one shot BAM he hits hybrid has a save roll of six plus no hybrid dies immediately falls to the ground blood splatters then Jimmy look at the at the at the little hobbler aims again and squeezes the trigger shoots again BAM he misses he continues sh shoot he shoot two more bullets we are all two dice BAM BAM two both hits well you can do this if you wanna but of course you probably wanna shoot one by one because uh, Oh wait, that doesn't have a save roll. Yes. And kills a holder here. It's creatures and dies. And then uses his help action. Now for a help action again you don't have to be on the same space with the character. You just need to be in the same room. He brings Vigo to his to his uh, feet and says they are all cleaned up. And now it's your time for, to shine, <laughs> old man. <laughs> All right. Since he brings up v uh, Vigo from from a crock down, he does have a wound. So if I receive one another another wound, and by the way, when you're placing wood, that's why these little stump is here. You place it like this. <laughs> I thought of everything. And he now he can actually act. So what he's gonna do? Hmm, let me think here. I have two bullets. Should I risk it? Oh. I can't. I can't leave. I can't leave uh, Jimmy alone because this hybrid is very close to us. And if I run, I need one, two, three, four, five to run up there and to shoot. Well, I can try that. I will roll for run, and then we'll tr see how much I actually want to run so that's a that's a six okay so I can get to that hybrid I'm gonna do that he's gonna run one two three four five he's gonna stop here and then he's gonna shoot at the hybrid uh, he shoots once from a close range misses he shoots his last bullet please God and hits uh, hybrid has a save roll of six and he didn't manage to save, it's dead. A hybrid is dead, and Vigo is finally victorious. Uh, he did spend all of his ammo, so that's all he has. Alright, all right. so let's see, it's the end of the turn. Uh, Mark will just uh, skip his turn, because he needs to stay there. The, that's the last turn he needs to stay in the generator room. And I need to roll like get to my senses <laughs> yes <laughs> I I knew this is gonna happen so he shuffled okay roll it himself and you can shuffle this card back into the malediction uh, into the malediction deck so these cards always get shuffled so the wording should be you can it should be you shuffle just but as I said there are some things I need they need to be fixed sadly just then I I get to my senses and I can see through the door on the bridge all the monster and look behind and see Mata looking through me to, to me through the obstacles and I know what's going on and I my heart bleeds <laughs> knowing that he left me there <laughs> all right in any case let's do one more turn and that's gonna be the end of the video what the what the crazy video so we go to turn 22 we finish all of these so this is finished I'm just gonna flip it like this so we don't care about that it's it's done let's roll for the omen 
a one we're gonna have another crisis and let's see eternal darkness something is wrong with the generator <laughs> yeah we know it sputters from time to time plunging the warship into darkness someone needs to go to the generator and use an action fix the damn thing pass a skill test inside the generator room but whoever goes there must be either an electrician or an engineer or at least have the monkey wrench a hammer or a screwdriver in his inventory generator must be fixed by the end of turn 18 Oof, so we already late on that or the effect of the darkness will engulf the ship so we basically fail immediately generator just can't keep up with electricity demands keep this card in play all crew members have to re-roll re their successful to hit rolls so if we hit successfully we have to re-roll it while monsters gain plus one move oh boy so ship is in the dark now if we had that oil lamp and I can show you how that works uh, oil lamp here it is as, uh, as long as you have this item you or other crew members inside your room do not suffer any penalties from the darkness we wouldn't have these things that we need to reroll but none of us actually has an oil lamp all right but here's the thing this is the third crisis and now these lifeboats are becoming available we place these green tokens so now we can escape the ship and we don't really care about darkness i mean general to is down but we finish our main objective we did call for help by the radio and, di and we did use a flare gun so right now only thing we need to do is to get to these lifeboats the problem is these monsters which will activate right now so we start with the hybrid number three he sees me in the in the radio room and he moves to the near crew member with the lowest number and attacks him that's me so he goes one two and attacks me four plus to hit he misses okay uh, then this hybrid here please be confused no he's not confused He's actually mad. He moves to the nearest crew member with the highest number and attacks him using a tri trident. Four plus to hit. So he enters here and you takes the trident and hits me. I fell to the ground, knocked down, and with what wound on myself. And lastly, this holder, because I don't see any more monsters. The hover does four. Monster moves to the nearest crew member with the lowest number and lunges onto that character's face to lunge far plus. If the roll is successful, that crew member is knocked out and receives one malediction card. Okay, so what happens when you have someone knocked down? Well, the monster will actually will. Uh, they will ignore you. And they will go for if they will not ignore you if you if you're the only character uh, on the board like if everybody else are gone so they will just go for you but right now they will ignore you as long as you're knocked down so this hole are actually gonna go try to go for for mate so so let me see he moves and he tries to lunge well that means he he moves d6 okay he moves only one interestingly but if he try to move to the obstacle he will use the lunge attack to do that so 5 plus would be the thing you need to roll to and on that he will break the obstacle all right all right so there is a chance there is a chance i will actually survive but we will see problem is there is an obstacle here that mate put and if, if he removes the obstacle he doesn't have enough actions to do nothing because he doesn't have any weapon that can attack on the range so now we activate we all activate here except me so I will start with me because I can get up on my own if I get five or six and if I get up I actually can remove the ost obstacle and run and try to run from those monsters no I, I'm still la laying down all right in that case Matef what he can do 
You can remove obstacle and run, I guess. Yeah, he wants to redeem himself. He wants to redeem, redeem himself for leaving me there. Because he's now the only viable target. So Matt is brave, suddenly. I can't let them kill that boy. He removes the obstacle. And, and then he uses his boots to run. So I rolled 2d6. Oh, what a run. <laughs> so I do have a plus 1. So this is a 3 plus 2. So 5 spaces. So he runs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All the way to the staircase. And that's his turn. In the meantime, Vigo yells, I don't have any more ammo. Uh, he throws his... Oh, I, well, actually, not yet. I need some ammo. But uh, Jimmy also says, I'm also low. But you have a carbine. We can do something about it. So Vigo's gonna run to Jimmy. Okay, that's six. One, two, three. Up to here. And they're gonna trade. He's gonna take a ammunition box. He's gonna drop the revolver, which will then actually they can trade. It will give him this empty revolver. So now Jimmy has two revolvers. And by the way, if you have two revolvers, just so you know, it is possible in this game to uh, double wield weapons. So for instance, if you have two full revolvers, you would be able to shoot like 12 bullets at a time. Uh, but you will have to use one action and then the second action with the second revolver. So you can always double wheel. So for instance, he can attack with the guitar and then next he can attack with the monkey wrench. Or he can like attack with the monkey wrench, then use the revolver after that. So you can double wheel. But it takes like action. So you like basically using one weapon, then the second one. It's not instantaneous. Like. So if, we ma if he managed to reload like both revolvers, he would be a real menace. In any case, uh, that's Vigo's actions. And now Jimmy is gonna run and try to help there. Well, actually, we need to run to the to the lifeboats anyway. So Jimmy, ooh, that's be it's gonna be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, five. Up to here. Up to here. So they move three, one, two, three. So he's gonna run up to here, and I'm not gonna put any obstacles. I'm gonna be brave and wait them here in this room, because they they're gonna go up now for 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 them. All right. Uh, Mark is also gonna join in, so he's running all the way from a village. <laughs> what a run! That's just three. One, two, three, and he's gonna run again. Oh, come on. He's like, do doesn't have any care in the world. One, two, three. He's slowly moving, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take my time. Alright, so I'm gonna stop here. I don't want this video to be too long. Right now, what we need to do is clear those enemies, get to the ships, and maybe they bring me up. And we might actually survive this. Uh, at least I don't have any more Melodiction cards. But we do have two wounded crew members. Which if they suffer another wound they die instantly. But they are armed. So I'm kind of sure everything is going to be right. Alright. So what an interesting video today. <laughs> so many things happened. Uh, see you in the next video. Where we are going to probably have the conclusion. And after that, it's up for me and my friends from BGG to help me out to put the print and play files so everybody can enjoy this game after you print them, of course, on demand somewhere or something. And I'm actually planning to put it in the BGG da database, so it's going to be available and free forever. Unless maybe, I don't know, find a publisher, then they usually demand, you know, remove the print and play files. Uh, in any case, thanks for watching. If you like what I do, please either put a like or maybe subscribe. Uh, and see you in the next video.